Rabies is a zoonotic and neurotropic viral disease caused by the rabies virus. Put simply, humans can become infected from the saliva of non-human animals, and the infection largely impacts the central nervous system. While there have been documented cases of rabies for over 4,000 years, prevention and treatment strategies remained largely faith-based until the late 19th century, with the discovery of the first rabies vaccine. In the mid-20th century, RABV was visualized for the first time using electron microscopy, confirming that rabies is caused by a virus and revealing its bullet-shaped structure. RABV is a negative-sense, single-stranded RNA virus belonging to the Lysavirus genus in the Rhabdoviridae family. Its genome is relatively small, roughly 12 kilobases, and encodes five different proteins, nucleoprotein, phosphoprotein, matrix protein, glycoprotein, and RNA polymerase, all of which play a role in host infection and viral replication. Rabies is typically transmitted through the bite of an infected animal, which introduces a small number of virions deep into tissue. After entry, the virus may take one to four months to locate and infect a nerve ending. This delay is a numbers game. The initial viral population is too small to reliably find its target, nerve cells. To overcome this, RABV infects local cells such as myocytes or fibroblasts, hijacking them to use as replication factories to amplify its numbers. Viral glycoproteins on the RABV envelope bind to cell surface receptors, initiating clathrin-mediated endocytosis. Proton pumps on the endosome membrane lower the internal pH, and this acidic environment triggers conformational changes in viral proteins that fuse the viral envelope with the endosomal membrane, releasing the RABV ribonucleoprotein complex into the host cell's cytoplasm. Now with access to the host machinery, RABV produces these key components. First, the viral polymerase uses the negative sense RNA genome as a template to transcribe five mRNA strands. Host ribosomes translate these into the viral protein components mentioned earlier. Next, the polymerase produces full-length positive sense antigenomes. These serve as templates for new negative sense viral genomes. Once all the components are ready, RABV is assembled. The M and G proteins facilitate escape from the host cell and the virus takes a portion of the host membrane as a souvenir to form its new envelope. The rabies virus enters the neurons via multiple receptors such as neural cell adhesion molecule and P75 neurotrophin receptor. After the rabies virus enters a neuron at the axon terminal, it uses its P protein to bind to the dynein motor protein and hitches a ride up the neuron. The dynein motor proteins are special motor proteins that transport cargo by walking on microtubules in retrograde flow. The rabies virus travels at an average speed of 20 to 40 centimeters per day. Its journey up the axon leads to the dorsal root ganglion where it replicates in the cytoplasm of the nerve cell spreads to other nerve axons and continues its journey into the central nervous system. After reaching the brain, it replicates in the cell bodies of neurons. The brainstem and hippocampus regions of the brain are most affected and account for the rabies symptoms. The rabies virus then travels in an anterograde fashion from the neuronal cell body to the axon terminal. It also now travels centrifugally, that is, from the central nervous system to peripheral tissues, and makes its way to the cornea, salivary glands, spinal cord, skin, and heart. The presentation in saliva makes the virus ready for its next host. Rabies presents in distinct phases. The incubation period lasts 20 to 90 days and is completely silent as the virus spreads from the bite towards the nervous system. This is followed by the prodromal phase, lasting two to 10 days, where nonspecific flu-like symptoms appear like fever, fatigue, loss of appetite, nausea, and sometimes tingling, pain, or itching at the wound site. Once the acute neurologic phase begins, symptoms become severe. In about 80% of cases, the encephalitic form develops, marked by anxiety, agitation, hallucinations, and hydrophobia caused by painful throat spasms that make swallowing water nearly impossible. The paralytic form, seen in about 20% of cases, instead causes progressive limb weakness and paralysis. Finally, rabies ends in a coma and death within 0 to 14 days. Recovery is exceedingly rare, and once symptoms appear, rabies is almost always fatal, making immediate treatment after exposure absolutely critical. We can thank Louis Pasteur for the first rabies vaccine in 1885. His inactivated vaccine was created by drying out rabies-infected spinal cord, which rendered the rabies virus dead. Today, vaccines are made inactive through various means such as chemically using BPL or with UV light. These dead viruses can still stimulate the immune system. This inactivated vaccine is grown in either human diploid cells or purified chicken embryo cells. HDCV uses replicated virus-infected human diploid cells, and PCECV uses infected chick fibroblasts. In addition to the vaccine, treatment also involves rabies immunoglobulin injection directly at the transmission site, which provides passive immunity, that is, antibodies starting to fight the virus. Our poor students should disinfect the bite wound immediately and proceed to hospital, where they will be given rabies immune globulin and rabies vaccination. 
multiple injections are required and determined by weight. Public Health will follow up 3, 7, and 14 days post-exposure to administer three additional rabies shots. Thanks to vaccination, you can survive a rabies infection without even knowing you had it.